action series Covert Affairs. Take a look. Since when did you start carrying on U.S. soil? Since the last time someone broke into my kitchen. How'd you get in here? Don't worry, I lost whatever press was telling me. Last thing I need right now is to be caught having an illicit meeting with some young blonde. Is that supposed to be a joke? How could you do this to Joan? You don't get to ask questions yet. Please welcome Piper Perabo. Piper, so do you. I love your shorts. Thank you. Gonna... I've been dying to wear some of these, um, like, fashion shorts for mm -hmm. the summer. By the way, the ones, the pink ones that I got for my birthday that were given to me here were too tight, so, yeah. <laughs> these are good, though. And, and I, like I wore you. my special shoes I for like you. Oh, shoes. I like your shoes, too. Thank you, but look, put your feet in front of the camera, and let's give you some shoe cam. Yeah. <laughs> Those are big. Those are nice. You have a little tiny foot. What size should you wear? An eight. Oh. It's not a regular. It's size. the heels. It's yeah. giving the illusion of like a ballerina yeah. foot. Thanks. So on the show, Covert Affair, you do your stunts in heels. Mm-hmm. I read that. Is that, I mean, I, I know that you have them on when the stunt is. I do them mostly in Louboutins, actually. No. The most uncomfortable shoe in the world. I know. I didn't know that when I wore them in the first episode. I was like, these are beautiful. I want to wear them all the time. Then I started jumping off buildings and chasing assassins, and I was like, why didn't they ask for a sneaker? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not too late. You're in your fourth season. It's a hit show. I know, but they like them now. They like them. <laughs> They're sexy. It's sexy fighting. Um, so what's your trick for standing in the heels for so long, and don't your feet get swollen at the end of the day? My feet are super swollen at the end of the day. I have a little trick that I do, though. You might want to do it. When you get off stage, you can do it. Okay. Um, I had this trainer, this dance trainer, who taught me that you get, like, a big bucket and put ice and cold water in it when you get home from work, and then you fill up the tub with warm water. So you have icy and warm, and you go back and forth, and it starts the circulation in your, like, the blood going in your feet and takes the swelling down. In case you have to go back out that night. Yeah. I don't have time for that. I would just rather put on those wedge sneakers and, and keep it stepping. So, you're from Jersey. I'm from Jersey. You graduated from Tom's River High School? Yeah, what high school did you go to? Ocean Township High School, class I, of 82. We might have played you in high school. I think you were in our same sports. We are in the same sports thing. What year did you graduate? You're way younger than me. 94? Baby, do you, but, and so, but you live here in New York City and you're a single, you're young and pretty New York City girl? Yes, Look yes. at you. Do you go down to the Jersey Shore? I do. I go down to the shore. I go down all year round because my family still lives uh -huh. down there, but this summer I made a big point of doing my summer vacation down there just because they're still trying to rebuild from right. the storm and I want to support the businesses yes. and just like, you know, be a good energy down there with everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, you know. I know a lot of single women here in the city, and the biggest complaint with them, which I can't figure out for the life of me, is that where are all the men? I don't know. You don't know either? I came to New York looking for the men, and where are they? You've got to put yourself out there. I know, I try. Like, people set me up on, oh, I, people set me up on dates. I went on this date sort of recently. Yeah. And this friend of mine set me up. He's a writer. He's just like, he's really smart, and he's cool. And okay. He called me, and we met at the movies. Uh-huh. He let me pick out the movie. Five minutes into the movie, okay. he fell asleep. So what? You're going to hold that against him? You're being too crazy. I'm, like, I'm tired, too, but, like, how unexcited are you that you fell asleep? In the I wanted it was just a he movie. Was on the I thought about maybe climbing over and just leaving him there so that when he woke up, I'd be gone. Was he cute? <laughs> did, he have a nice, did he have a nice personality? He seemed nice, and he was, like, smart, had a job. Like, I was picky. like, cute's good. Like, you don't have to be, you know. Yeah. It was just a movie, though. So, uh, I'm, when I was single, yeah, when I was single, I never had a problem in the city finding guys. I just can't figure it out. So, so you live here, mm -hmm. you work in the movies, you've been around. We've known her, you know, for 15 years. Remember, Coyote Ugly is 15 years old. Mm -hmm. Do people still recognize you from that movie? They do, and um, 
when they first started recognizing me in the city, I would get so, like, nervous and throw, you know, like, you, you're never thinking about it. You're on the train or something and somebody recognizes you. But now I'm so happy when they do because it was 15 years ago. I keep thinking, like, oh, good, I'll keep wearing the eye cream. And if you still recognize me. Yeah, that's good eye happy. cream. Uh, and, and now you didn't like to be recognized for it because you thought that, okay, I already did that movie. I'm moving on to other things. I wanted to be able to, you know, play other parts. Yeah. But also, like, I just get nervous. I always think when people come up to me that I know them from home or something. Yes. So they're like, Piper? I'm like, uh, I have this fear, like, I forgot yeah. their name. The but I don't know them. Single girl in the city syndrome? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now, you speak not just Jersey. You speak French, too? I do speak French. Mm -hmm. I mean, pretty well. Yeah, well... And, and, and your character on the show speaks several languages. 16. 16 languages. But, you don't, but all you do is, like, is learn your lines for the other ones? Yeah, we have in Toronto where we shoot that it's the most ethnically diverse city in North America. So even when I'm speaking Tamil or something like that, we bring in someone who that's their native language and they tutor, tutor me on the languages. Where's Tam? With, where, who's From Sri Lanka. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> so the fans of the show are very, very excited this season. You finally are getting a romance going on with your, um, the, the blind guy, what do you call him? Uh, Not your partner. My handler. Your her handler, Augie. So that's very exciting because you've been teasing us for the last few seasons. Mm -hmm. And now you and Augie finally have something going on. Mm -hmm. It's a good show. Congratulations hey, on everything. It's really nice to meet you. Thank you. Everybody, keep clapping for Piper Caravo. Her show is called Covert Affairs. It airs tonight at 9 on USA Network. Up next, we got Ask Wendy. Keep it here.